So this is Wyatt. And he's got a chainsaw with him today because the people that introduced him to this waterfall originally are getting a little too old to hike this trail. There's some recently fallen trees that have now crossed the path, which is an issue if you're maybe a little too old to hike it. This is his way of showing respect to those people that introduced him to this in the first place. And then there's me, just here to take photos. Okay, so I, I'm at a waterfall right now, if you can't tell behind me, and that is Wyatt, and that is Matt. And we are out here uh, kind of chasing a waterfall that doesn't really have a name. I'm here to get some photos, because that's just what I do. Man, this looks incredible. Right. Like, just... Stop it. So I'm gonna try to get a shot set up from right here, get some of the foreground of the rocks with some moss. But uh, if I use my wide angle lens, I can pretty much get all the way from the bottom and get some foreground all the way to the top, which it is a tall falls. So it's all the way up there. All right, so I've got my uh, GoPro filming this right now because of lack of setup time. It's now raining. Uh, the waterfall is misting, so it's very complicated to get a shot, but I think I'm making it work. I've got a vertical shot using my circular polarizer on here, and um, I took a, uh, several photos, and so I don't know which one's going to work best. You're going to see the best one, and, uh, and yeah, I think I nailed this location so far, but the rain's going to make it tough, and so I'm going to go over to a different location over by where Wyatt is and try to take from there, but uh, this rain is not letting up. It's, it's pretty bad actually right now. And so, it's kind of cool experience, but uh, hard to photograph. If you can't tell right now, the lens is severely coated in water. Rainwater, waterfall water, and just overall mist and dew. <laughs> uh, I've, I've retreated underneath some uh, trees. Water's still falling from them, but it's just a little less. And so we're gonna wait for the rain to stop, and then we're gonna resume because I got a good composition over here where my tripod is, where I think it's better. I just like the way the water hits the rocks. I know it's a pretty basic concept, and I say it all the time, but the way the water hits the other water. Bit of an update. The sun's came out, and it came out a little too much. I don't know if you could see, but the top of the falls are very white, so much so that it kind of ruins the photo. One eternity later. I think I think I got a lot of good photos, but right now I'm still currently waiting on uh, the sun to go away, and so I'm, I'm enjoying the beautiful surroundings here, but kind of getting impatient. I'm gonna go up there, way up there, 
and try to get a look down into this little pool because there's some trees right above me that I might be able to get to frame the shot. Kind of like uh, looking through a window of leaves to this little view at the falls right here. You might not be able to see those trees because of the sun, but the, the sun is hitting those leaves. So my idea is to get the leaves getting hit by the sun, but not the sun hitting the waterfalls or the lens. Let's see. Update, I have made it this far. Little ways to go. <laughs> All right, so I have made it to uh, basically where I wanna be. The sun's just too bright. I can't make it work the way it is hitting the tree. So I think I'm just gonna have to wait until the sun goes away. You can see the recurring theme today. Clouds didn't happen like they were supposed to. But uh, it's okay because I think I'm gonna sit here and be patient because once the sun sets, like, you know, beyond the tree line, it'll start blocking the way the light hits and falls into this little pool area down below. So I think time is of the essence here. Uh, patience is key. Okay, got this. Uh, I'm practically in a tree. <laughs> And uh, I think I just made a photo work. Chainsaws. Uh, I think I just made a photo work. I got this fern right here. I was mounted up on this tripod, so I'm currently filming this with the photo I took, you know, the, the same camera. Using this uh, fern right here as the foreground, I did some uh, focus stacking. I almost forgot what it was called. Uh, and I focused close took a photo, focused a little further away, took a photo, focused a little further, took a photo, you know, and so on, until I got to the focal point, which is the waterfall. I'll go home and I will stack all of those on top of each other, making sure each segment of focus is in the photo, basically blended in one photo. And that'll be the photo you see. I think it turned out really good. It's very spring-esque. It's got a lot of greens, a lot of lush greens right now. The sun is still a little too involved, a little more involved than I'd want, but I think it works out. And uh, I don't know, I'll let you be the judge. Let me know. But basically I have to get off this hill now and out of this tree. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that does it for today's... I think that does it for... I think that does it for today's video. So if you like this type of thing, go ahead and subscribe. There'll be more to come. I don't know when they're coming, but uh, thanks for watching.